doesn't do the work to protect the American people, I will stop all migrant flights to Michigan and every state. So they say, so they say, this is the greatest con. They say, no, you know, because she was getting killed in the polls, uh, they say what happened. And, and this was even him before her. But they did a couple of little things, little tricks, just tricks, same number. And they said, we've got better numbers now on the border, which is true, a little bit better. But what they didn't do is stop airplanes from flying over the border, bringing in hundreds of thousands of migrants. But we caught them. And we say, why are you doing — if you want to stop them, why are you doing airplane flights coming in with hundreds of thousands? Tremendous numbers, hundreds of thousands. And then they have a phone app. Do you know they have an app? Think of it. You know who the app is for? The guys that bring the migrants into our country have a phone app so they know where to dump them, so they know where to bring them. The cartel leaders, the leaders of the cartels who are among the richest people, I believe, in the world, and they deal also in women. They trek women through the borders and into our country. That's turned out to be a big business. To a lesser extent, children. Not too many men. Not too many. They don't want the men. They want the women and they want the children. And uh, they're traffickers, they're called. They're really bad people. They're really bad. Sounds like an ancient — it sounds like an ancient thing, right? An ancient crime, but it's not. What made it so big today, they do at the same kind of money they make with drugs. Some people say it's more. What they do today is, like, unbelievable and horrible. But you know why it's so big today? Bigger than it ever was uh, 2,000 years ago? Because of the Internet. They get all the information about people on the Internet. And because of that, it's a massive business, and we had it under control. And now it's totally out of control. And drugs are pouring in at 11 times more than they were when I was there. And you'll never, by the way, stop the drug epidemic unless you have the death penalty for drug dealers, I will tell you right now. Each dealer, male or female, each dealer kills, on average, 500 people during their lifetimes. And that's not to mention all of the — I mean, I know so many families, they've lost a child. They've lost parents, too, but they've lost usually young kids. They've lost a child. That family is devastated forever. They don't get better. Somebody says, oh, time, time, time heals. They don't get better. They've lost a son or a daughter to fentanyl, brought in by drug dealers that are smart and vicious, and uh, that family never, ever recovers, never recovers. I will shut down all entries through Kamala's migrant phone app. I'll close that app so fast. I will end sanctuary cities immediately. There will be no sanctuary cities in our country. A sanctuary city protects criminals, and I'll do all of the illegal migrants that Kamala has dumped into your small towns will be going home. You're going to have to go home. I'm sorry. Because it's not sustainable, and it's going to be very hard to do. It's a very hard thing to do. They'll pick out one person who's very sympathetic, a woman, with two children, and they'll show it very — it's a very tough thing. But we have thousands of murderers. Of the murderers, 25 percent of them have murdered more than one person. Ten percent of, of them have murdered more than five people. These people are roaming our country. They could go into a restaurant. They can do whatever they want. And they will kill you because they are wired that way. They were wired that way. We're going to get them the hell out of our country. But for all of that to happen, you have to vote for Trump. You also need to vote for a great gentleman who is going to be of tremendous help to me. He's one of the most respected people in Washington, as you know. And he's running for a thing called the United States Senate. And he's from your beautiful state. But he's tough, he's smart, he's so respected. And I had a lot of choices because my endorsement means a lot. Whoever the hell I endorsed those guys. And, you know, I looked at some very good people, and they were very good people. But I know him, and this is a, a man who's about as smart and tough as you can be. All of the things I told you about with jobs and getting 
illegal migrants out. All these things are very